Greetings. I needed to talk to you today. I didn't, I don't. I've just, mm. I feel blah. It's nice out. It's turned into a nice day. Blue skies, sunshine, it's all good. And I'm, I'm not, you know, there's no reason for my mood. I have no idea. I guess it's, I was just uh, corresponding with the moving company. And uh, money is starting to, you know, have to get ready to be there because things have to get paid for. Then I have a meeting at my lawyer's office tomorrow, um, nine o'clock. I have to be there for signing things. Things are coming to a head and, oh, well, excuse me. Maybe you can, you know, just prop yourself up like that. How's that? So we sink down. There we go, is that better? <laughs> yeah, um, so, you know, it's, it's Tuesday. Friday, I move. Eek. No, me. Change. This change is finally coming to a smack you in the face change. It's going to be a big change. And, you know, I don't do much here. Why should I worry about not doing much there? I'm not going to change things, you know? But here I have the options. There, I will be much more constrained, right? So I will have to work on planning ahead more and... Things, they will all work out. It'll all work out. But, me niggling back of mind, eh, worry, eh, yeah. So, uh, as I said, I was talking with the exchanging, you know, corresponding with the moving guy. And he's, you know, he asked me about if my credit card was okay to, you know, this, you know. I quickly made sure that there was you know, no problem with the credit card and so on and so forth. Um, just to ease my worries so that I could ease his worries. <laughs> he has no worries. You know. Credit cards, credit card, but you know, whatever. And so that led to me going away from the letter, from the email, going to my bank, doing this, doing that, you know, moving things around, you know, <laughs> wasn't necessary. It's not that much money that it would make any difference, but I just did it to satisfy myself. And I looked and I'm like, geez, that, that's shrinking. It's just an account that I have money in that I use for spending at certain places. And there are certain big expenses that are going to happen one, the move, you know, but then <laughs> there will be a big change where a huge amount of money comes in. My house, excuse me, no, don't worry, but brain does not. <laughs> oh, amount of money in bank account. Now, you know, can't see the future. Well, the amount of money that comes from your house is going to shrink because the real estate agent is going to take the percentage and 
this is going to take a percentage and this is there. Can you relax? Just relax. You know how much you paid for the house 24 years ago. You know how much money you're going to get now. Big difference. You know? Relax. But, like I said, little brain. And I, I don't understand. I can't see what you're talking about. It's 11.30. Got a, um, got a, um, soccer game coming up, 2 o'clock. Um, So I've been chatting with, I was chatting with Gail, then I was chatting with my real, um, no, no, actually I sent a, a quick note off to my real estate agent. Then I was chatting with the guy from the moving company. Then I was chatting, <laughs> I was chatting with, I left a message for my lawyer, for my, the receptionist or the person I was talking to at the lawyer's office who's arranging the meeting that we're having tomorrow. She sent me an email. I sent her back. I, I, I sent, I, I phoned her and left a message. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll just forget this message. Okay. And I gave my phone number and I, and, uh, and arranged for the meeting tomorrow. So then she called me back the phone number that I'd given her. And she called and I said, sorry about that. <laughs> No problem. <laughs> we all have those mornings. I said, yeah. When you've lived at a house and used the same phone number for over 20 years, and then you want to give a phone number that you've had for only, you know, five years, you know, which one comes to mind first? Yeah. I can rattle that phone number off. No problem. Except for when it counts. Then you can go... Uh, um, uh, yeah. the old phone number that comes, the new phone number, no. And I have that new phone number eh, burned in my brain because, you know, that's going to be my only phone number from now on. <laughs> but no, it's still not there. The old one is still there, Flush. Yeah. What is the black spots on this? What is that? I don't know what that was. Somebody must have splattered something at some point. Yeah, so that was the, the the secretary, the receptionist, the person, the assistant at the lawyer's office. And then I was talking to someone else. Anyone else, really? I'm not sure. Gail, moving company. Son, daughter-in-law. Because the, they have a video camera, they have a camera set up in their kitchen. And uh, <laughs> he's observing the, uh, they, had, they just had, the reason he was watching is because they were going to be coming into the house, workers were going to, get, going to be coming in the house, into the house to, to finish up some, fix some things. It's a new house, but they're of course, Things that, you know, when you live in the house, you notice and you, it's a new house, so somebody has to fix it. So, um, people are coming into your house to fix these things. So he's watching them. <laughs> of course, they don't know that. Creepy. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's creepy. But, uh, and he can actually listen to them as well. And they don't notice. That's why it's so creepy. Yeah, people walk by my house. They don't know that they're being watched by the camera. Yeah, but I don't know. It seems less creepy when you're watching the outside of your house than when you're watching inside the house and people are... <laughs> because the one guy, uh, just uh, Nana, you know how Nana is? She, when she, she's an underfoot dog, okay? So... She was obviously very relaxed and at ease with these two guys. 
but she was underfoot and they were just leaving and the one guy trips. No, he didn't even trip over. He just sort of went, oh, there's the dogs here and don't, don't trip over. But the one guy says, don't, don't, what did he say? Don't uh, trip. Oh, he made a comment. He made a comment. He made a comment. He made a comment. The comment was, oh, she's making her pause. He says, can you watch out for the oldest dog known to mankind? <laughs> is not the oldest dog known to mankind. <laughs> These are two young guys. But uh, yeah. <laughs> and then they left, you know, it was just but he thought my son thought that was amusing. Can you watch out for the oldest dog known to mankind? <laughs> there was no tripping. He said he, he tripped over. He didn't even trip over her. He just was careful that he didn't step on this dog who was always underfoot. Whatever. No biggie. Okay, I'm in a better mood now. I'm in a better mood now. I don't know why I was not in a better mood before. Nerves, change. Nobody likes change. Some people like change. I don't. I can deal with change, but I mean, I have to like it. I like the status quo, you know? I like the status quo. I like changing, I'm comfortable. Yeah, I would be more comfortable in other, you know, but for now, let's not change things, right? I'm comfortable here. <laughs>